One of the greatest kindness that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did for our community is to have Rabbi Badush Shlita come to our community. Rabbi Badush brought so much of that higher standard. His selflessness, his kindness, his love of Torah and love of people. brought our community to a whole different level. Avrichim, he finds them in Eretz Yisrael, he finds them in Lakewood, he finds them anywhere in the world to be found. And he brings them to our community. And when they learn many years, and it's time for them to move on, some of them are going to be good in a community synagogue. He helps them get into there. Some of them are going to be great Magidashi Urim. He helps them get into there. Some of them are going to be great Rebbeim in our schools. He helps them get into there. Some of them are going to want to start their own projects. He helps them get into there. Some of them are going to become Rosh Kolev. He helps them get into there and just to make Torah grow. Rabbi Madush is incredible. Rabbi Madush doesn't only care about the Wuhaniyut about each one, but also the Gashmiyut. says Shlomo, in order for them to grow in Wuhaniyut, they also have to grow in Gashmiyut. Rabbi, Rabbi Yudah Madush is just there. He's, he, he's sitting down for hours. Okay, what do we do? What do we order him Shlomo? You have to buy the best meat, the best stuff. Uh, well, let's find a location that's perfect for the boys. We have to find the best channel, the best, the best everything for the boys. Where else do you see a Rosh Kodet literally sitting down playing a Super Bowl party? Where else do you see a, a Rosh Kodet of that stature? Uh, you're planning all these stuff for, for these youth. Uh, so I once told Rabbi Badush, I said, Rabbi Badush, it's, this is, it's not covered for the Rosh Kodet to, 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 to be doing in such mundane. And I said, Shalom, Hazve Shalom, to grow every single boy, I'm willing to sit with you for hours and hours and hours. I, um, I came in and, um, and I saw Rabbi Badush sitting in the, corner, in the corner, you know, and I just needed somebody to talk to a little bit, you know, and as soon as he saw me, give me two minutes, turned into five minutes, 10 minutes, turned into half an hour. And this is before I even moved here. And then when I came, I got to know him a little bit better and I realized that it's not just me, it's every single person that walks in the door, he jumps on them. He sits by the door. I used to think, why does he sit by the door? He's getting stopped every two seconds with his chavrusa. And I realized, you know, he wants to sit there because he wants to see who's walking in. Because every person that walks in, he wants to say, who are you? How are you? What are you doing here? How are... He, he's so excited. He wants to take every every single person. And it's, it's crazy. Sometimes you hear him on the, phone, on, in the, on the phone in the other room. And he's just helping this guy get into this yeshiva. Helping this shidduch over here. And then helping this over here and helping that over there. And... I started to realize even more after that is that it wasn't even just in Montreal. He's helping people in Toronto, and then there's somebody in New York, and then there's somebody in Mexico. <laughs> and he's still holding the sugya, and he's learning with us, up to par, up to date, ahead of the game. People know if they need direction, Bahurim, they need direction to go to yeshivot, they know you come to the kolel, they'll have the rabbanim that will not only give you the advice and leave you and drop you, they're going to walk you through it all the way, all the way to the yeshivot and keep a kesha when they come back, they know that this is the second home. It comes to shiduchim, it comes to anything that the boys need, they know they have a place to, to, to entrust themselves in.